uh, double muted. Open containers. I can post it somewhere if others want to join. Hey guys, is it canceled today? It, it, it technically was, and then a few of us were like, well, we actually were planning on being here. And so now I'm going to post a list of like. Okay, cool. yeah, sorry. It's, it's, it's bit. Yeah, no, and I've always got back to back meetings for me at this time, but I try to squeeze in and either get to be a fly on the wall only, or like today, my other meeting got canceled, so I get to actually be here, be here. Good, good. Well, let me post it. I think we're mostly triaging GitHub issues for the distribution yeah. spec, so it may uh, not be the most entertaining call. I also got weirded out that it's being recorded. It's fine. It's fine now that I know. It's just so we can capture that face, Josh, and the hair, the COVID hair, and so on. Oh, that's, that's fine, but I was having a private conversation with Jimmy, so maybe someone can... Well, we'll, we'll, handle, we'll handle it in post. <laughs> oh, I knew it wasn't private. I was just trying to get you to admit stuff. <laughs> Jimmy's always in for the scoop, y'all. Oh, man. That's good. <laughs> uh, this new email client doesn't masquerade my... All right, one second. Okay. Um, does anybody want to share their screen? Um, do I actually use an Outlook now, VBAT? Do. <laughs> Not a joke, Jimmy. This is a sensitive topic. I haven't touched Windows in 15 years, and I'm using Windows right now. But. I'm, I'm sorry. I am. I am very tickled that they've actually like truly. I've already been on several like plugged right into several different groups across the company that are that are prioritizing being able to have like Linux as a primary. So even like on our team, um, everybody got got like their laptop hardware and stuff that could run Linux and have good driver support. So. Um, because they're expecting even by August that folks will be able to just like reinstall and use Linux. Yeah, I wonder at Red Hat, <clears throat> there was kind of this thing where they basically gave you laptops and then they would be pre-provisioned with Linux with whatever shit they wanted to install to lock down the machine, but- Oh yeah, they called it the CSB, the common- uh... Um, yeah. standard build or something. I don't but know. the first thing everyone ever does is completely <laughs> reform. <laughs> so it's like, uh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if Microsoft's going to be in a similar place. So they're like, yeah, we tried to lock it down, but then uh, everyone just reformats. <laughs> and I understand that a lot of teams that do work on upstream stuff do just wipe. But um, they... They they've actually got some a lot of stuff locked down to where like you can't even you can't check most of the systems or the sites or whatnot even like for HR stuff you can't get to it unless you're um, on the VPN and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I actually ran Slackware for most of the years that I was at uh, Red Hat. At some point, I switched over to Fedora. Um, can y'all see this thing? Yes. Yep. Um, all right, so really quick, should we close all of Chris's um, maintainer PRs since um, I mean, I think so. I don't know if that's going to piss anyone off, but like we unanimously basically agreed that we didn't want to just open a floodgate and that we would instead vote individually. Well, I think um, I think what was discussed is hold on, there was. Uh, 
issue about it. And Derek made a pretty good comment, I think. Find it. Maybe it was on TOB, but it was basically like we don't need maintainers right now. I do see. I, I do think several of these people would be good. Um, particularly John Johnson is like all over the spec. Um, so I I don't know. Do we want to move on or? Yeah, I, I think, I don't know. I, I don't know if we should close them all out right now or just ignore them. Um, I definitely fall in the same boat as you where I'm like, uh, we don't really need maintainers, but if I was going to add someone, it would be John, right? Those are, ah, no. Okay. Pull requests. Well, I mean, but that's, that's where like, Jason Hall, I've worked with him. A. Mwak, I've worked with him. Tom, he's been around for a while. Last year has obviously been around for a while. It's one of those like, this was more of a conversation on the image spec. Yeah. And I think, uh, Yeah, the other thing is like, do you need, if you're on the TOC, do you also need to be a maintainer? I mean, I guess technically to apply the for the TOC, you have to be a maintainer, right? Technical, the technical group or the TDC or whichever one that is, the, the, the poorly described one. Yeah, and even John said 13 days ago, can we just go ahead and close all these? Um, we can reopen later, right? Yeah, that's true. If someone complains, you can always reopen them. <laughs> Let's close mm -hmm. them all out. Okay. Closing for now. I'm swayed. Are you doing it, Vince? Uh, I started on it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I get to blame you. To, uh, <laughs> this is. Yeah, you can blame this me. This is the comment. Yeah, he, he pasted yeah, it on all of them. Yeah, I sent it to you. All right. Um, go look at some real stuff. Um, really quick before we just go into issues, like I, oh, people added more stuff into here. Um, oh, I, I haven't seen like 40, but I'm scared. <laughs> no, it's just an issue with no context. It's, it's, um, no one has PR to this yet. And but, no one has given like, strong opinions or talked about it much. Mm. Oh, I, you may have been missing the Slack uh, stuff, but. Yeah, I haven't been in the Slack and like Freenode died and I was in IRC and there was an IRC bridge, um, but I don't think someone set up a new IRC bridge. So I haven't, uh, I haven't been keeping we up. Talked about, we talked about setting up, not for new, new Freenode. I don't think anybody's going to Freenode. Freenode is dead. Um, no, 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 I mean, it used to be on so, Freenode. Now it's on Libera. Yeah. yeah. There's like six of us in uh, in the Libera channel. But... Anyway, um, yeah, there's, there, isn't, there isn't a PR for this. I just, what I was trying to get at is like, as we're doing this grooming, like should we prioritize based on what we want to get released? Um, or I don't know, Vince, this is your your this is kind of your jam here. <laughs> running running this whole uh, even it, um, sometimes it, some of these just kind of sat around for a little while and just needed other LGTMs. Yeah, I just opened that one up. It's got like a few comments, but did it? I think they all got addressed. Yeah, that seems know. pretty cut and dry. This one. Yeah. This LGC. Like, we have Go code. It's not fucking. <laughs> it doesn't have its dependencies explicitly check like. 
checked in. I uh, should probably do that. <laughs> Um, I'll Third. ask him since, since you approved it. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing controversial would be like whatever the import path is and as long as it matches whatever the image spec is, for example, or anything okay. else that has code, then- I mean, he, he, updated, he updated Travis and I think we, we need to take Travis out back. And... <laughs> it's true, yeah. Uh... I mean, oh, there's that one the here. new owners of Travis already took it out back. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's not, there isn't one in the root of image spec. It, it might be under tool or something like that. Uh, they, they nested it in the, oh wait, or was that some, something that we asked? I think that's, that's the whole thing is like, that was the whole conversation is. Mm. Yeah, see, this uh, is my spec. Interesting. Initial. Oh, that's cool. Authorized pull approve. <laughs> uh -huh. Got an internal error. I'm not going to click that. Uh, All these bots, they are great when they work. They are a pain in the butt most of the time. Are, do, maybe I can take 10 minutes and just get us from Travis to GitHub if that's maybe. Do it. Live right. coding with. Josh. I can't type and talk right, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop the share and, and do that and provide some. Uh, can we run through everything else first? Just because like there are certain, like I think we can bang out a bunch of these. Like for example, the oldest thing that register, like the proxying. Yeah, uh, that was discussed a lot. And I think we came to a consensus I, on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually a thing that like Derek and I went back on and we ultimately agreed on it needs to be rebased and Derek probably needs to be here to do anything on it. So that can dangle. Um, the extension okay. proposal thing, that is some contentious shit. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know what the current state of that is. It's nowhere near being merged though, although the way I look at it, this PR is probably the best place just for people to like wax intellectual on it. Yeah, um, I, I, I keep, I, I like we, I thought we talked about it and then, I mean, I, well, I posted it there. Like I found out that people were actually like looking forward to that and I was like, oh, I thought it was dead. Yeah, um, I, I think it's probably in the critical path for us before we start uh, adding new things to the spec. Mm -hmm. like, I think this would actually be probably something that we need to agree on and get merged for a, a, a 1.1. Would you, did, should, can we open this up? Uh, open up, go, go to the, um, field, the actual, actual thing. Yeah, because I don't, uh, I mean, I could open it up also. This literally is nothing. Um, the one right after that is like expand the allowed status codes. Um, mm -hmm. Is that that's literally just changing <clears throat> the actual Go code? I think oh, to this, meet this back, right? We don't. I'm gonna. So Peter's no longer working on this stuff, and I think. I think we settled all this stuff already. Yeah, this is this is settled. So we can just close this. Um, 
That was easy. Um, or do we want to then? So, are you going to retract your approval here, or or whatever? I I don't understand what this is. <laughs> Internal you know? error. Great. I don't understand though. Is this clock, like? Is this just? Am I just seeing that, or is that? No, no. I, that, and I I just like signed in and clicked through and went all the way to pull approve and it. Yeah, we can just disable pull approve because that's built into <clears throat> GitHub now. Like you can set a branch, like a rule in the branch or whatever. That yeah, says, so two two approvals. Um, yeah, because we used to we used to comment match on LGTM and now we use the code review thing. Yep, we can just use the built-in GitHub one now. Hey, so so um, uh, I think I have this one. some settings. Oh, hold on. I can speak to. Um, basically, when you're uh, uploading using chunks, uh, there's apparently some um, IETF way to do that. And um, you have to specify the units of, like, are you using bytes, kilobytes? And it's every implementation has just assumed bytes. And basically doesn't follow the this RFC, and we shipped 1.0 without mm -hmm. following the RFC. And I I don't see a reason to break everyone just because of the uh, RFC. Let yeah. me know if you disagree. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't think it would have been a breaking change if we included uh, included something that like abided by it, right? Well, what is the default usually if it's not bytes indexed by bytes? No, no, like that's that's all that anyone supports. Yeah, but what, uh, oh, I'm confused. Like, there's two behaviors. There's the RFC, and there's what registries do, right? Yes, yes, exactly. And registries, if you look at this package, is bytes. If you look, if you look at distribution, it's bytes. And what what is the RFC using? Wait, no, no, no. The whole the whole point of the RFC is that you say the number and then the units. So you would say like forty B instead of just forty. Ah, I see. Yeah, I mean, it should be optional. Oh. Okay. I mean, I think going forward, just making it optional makes the most sense, but. We can say people. All right, well, okay. Well, this act, actually, this PR was for the conformance test. So, can we ask, should we just ask him, hey, can we change this? Can you redo this in the markdown instead of the test? Or should I just say close it and if you want, redo it in the test is optional? Uh, do we think this person is alive still? Like this That's PR? the thing. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> I, I mean, I hope so. I'm just, what I'm saying is like, should we close it and say, please reopen um, it in this packet? Doesn't look like they really responded or interacted after just the initial PR, right? Um, they, yeah. It looks like they just work on their own registry. They found that this was the behavior, fired off a PR to fix it. Um. I'm not sure we what to do with this Go mod now that I'm looking at it. Like there's I looked at the other thing they referenced, like the runtime spec, and I don't see their Go mod either. So well, but yes, we do have a specs.go directory or specs-go directory that it makes sense to go in, but we also have a test and a dot tool. And the conformance has its own Go mod, but there's like two other directories that have source code in them. Yeah, um, the dot tool doesn't matter. It imports this library, right? Directly. And then it's only the standard library that has dependencies on. So it's not particularly useful for that. 
Um, and then go, go, we have a go a mod test. already in conformance. We have uh, there's test pkg off off. It just imports from well, it actually imports from test from the open containers distribution spec test pkg dist p. So there is like other things that get imported. Yeah, the the specs go is the only thing that doesn't have a go mod, right? No, no, no. Actually, it doesn't matter either. Mm. It it almost like it makes most sense to be at the top level directory and conformance would have its own go mod. I I think the way that go works though is that I, I think there's one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so there's like projects in Go modules yet. I'm pretty sure that like that's coming. The last time I talked to Filippo about stuff, he was like, so, you're gonna be able to break down and just depend on like subdirectories of a whole module. Um, so if we put this Go mod at the top, then it clobbers the conformance one? Yeah, I think so. But if we put the conformance one will have the same path though, right? It's still gonna be open containers, distribution spec slash conformance. The only difference is like when people just want specs, specs go, mm -hmm. and they just want that those types, they're going to be forced to also well, everything include the transitive dependencies that are used in the conformance, yeah. Which is actually a lot of shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's, yeah. Uh, Vince, the, this 227 is like way out of date. I, I don't know if this was actually oh, yeah. fixed, fixed on main or not. Fixed on main. I don't know. We did a lot with that. Less fun than corny on main. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's let's close. It. Like get out of here. get this corn out of my face and close. It. Get this corn out of my face. Yes. No corn emoji. Uh, I'm cool with, I like apparently already approved this one, which is <sighs> capturing um, Sebastian's table of fallbacks for content types. I have no problem with this. What is the bring over the table? Sorry, two two six. Yeah, I just cracked it open. That, uh, that file is basically uh, sort of limbo, sort of a workspace anyway. Oh Jesus. Yo. The content negotiation thing. <clears throat> Oof. <laughs> I, I I need to like look at the actual rendering of it because so so uh, John's thing is how he does his convert how GCR does their like backwards compatibility. 
Um, and I, Quay also does similar, but like it also supports V1 and not just schema one, which even further complicates shit. Um, but I have no idea. Well, technically, technically Quay is, fills all the boxes, I think. Right. Like we check them all, but it's all really jank how we do it uh, if it makes no sense, right? So um, just, um, I don't, I, uh, what am I gonna say? Basically, like, I don't think we want to lose this. It's obviously an issue somewhere, but um, the first word in this document is to do. So I think someone does need to take a real pass at this as a real document. I just, it's not being used by anything. It's not, so I'm in support of just putting it in. I mean, uh, having a to do in the spec is not so great. No, but it's not in the spec is what I'm saying. It's just a one-off. It's document. just in a file in the spec repository. <laughs> nice well, to the specification. <laughs> It's the it, was, it was technically not in the specs spec.md. <laughs> you're correct. I'll give you that. Here, y'all both LGT on that thing. We'll go. Um, yeah, I actually think this is fine though. Um, what's your what's your beef wait, with hold on? Go 116. Hold on, why did it it didn't save my, my change? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, hold on, it, it, the path's not right. Oh, get commit, I forgot my period. Okay. Um, what's my beef with, there's no beef. I have no beef. Technically, I don't think that this thing even needs to have a different, a newer Go module version. It, it really should be whatever the oldest version that supports modules. Yeah, I think 115 is the first one where you didn't need like some kind of environment variable to do the right thing. And because there's nothing in the code that, because uh, the only, only beef with choosing the, the latest is that if there's really nothing about the code that stops a prior version, then don't don't do that. Cool. There's your here. We just backdoored some shit into this back. We did not <laughs> backdoor anything, Jimmy. <laughs> it, it is recording. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey guys. I literally can't take you anywhere, Jimmy. Jeez, the <laughs> <laughs> Can we add something right. about like cloud products that have to pay the maintainers of the spec? <laughs> All right, backdoor is merged. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, I'm I'm these. I'm gonna sh share a screen now. Boom! Take you out of the. Oh. All right, it's over. Um, okay, so I was just looking at, you know, we're on the, the full approved discussion and got to looking at the branch rule stuff here. Um, so branch rule pattern or branch pattern name. That's just uh, being a master or main or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But you do you know if this, if this signing, um, so sign, sign, sign commits is, that, is like GPG. Or GPG? Okay, it's this. GPG. And it's also like, if you press the button, like if you do anything in the GitHub UI, GitHub like signs it on your behalf, which is also mm. fucking awful and totally <laughs> ruins that workflow. It negates it, yeah. Yeah, so it's actually pretty bad because then you get merge commits that are like signed by GitHub's key on behalf of your user, which is strange. Um, this is also a thing. By the way, we're going to have to deal with signing in <laughs> container specs. I, that's why Quay did multiple roots of trust when we did, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what's the signing spec? Uh, tough. When we did tough, we did that. So like you could trust Quay and the person at the same time. Uh, anyway, sign commits is kind of useless. Uh, what you really want to do is check the first box. 
Um, and then it will ask how many. Yep. Dismiss stale pool. That means when someone pushes a new commit, it's going to discredit. It'll throw out all the approvals and make everyone reapprove. Which is useful and annoying. Yeah. I'm kind of on the dismiss stale pool. I kind of, yeah, I think that in general, because like, if somebody just if you trust pool, people. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm all about it. Like there are a few times when it's like, oh, this is a simple rebase or whatever. And it's frustrating. Can y'all just approve it again? But other times when people are iterating on something and you're like, actually, I'll just change something significantly. You want to go through the, the approval again. Yep. Um, From code and, owners. Yeah, so you can actually have a code owner's file. It's basically like GitHub enforced maintainer's file. Is this Is this like the owner's? I mean, like, is this a far, far crop? Ah. It's, no. It is literally called code owners in all caps. And you can either put it at the root or in the dot GitHub folder. Um, Claire uses this uh, and it fucking like auto tags. Owners. Uh, it like auto assigns you in the, the Git repo too. And it was just spamming the living shit out of my GitHub notifications. I had to like ask Post. people to, to remove me from a whole bunch of stuff because yeah, that, there you go. Just oh, because every it, time it forks, it would. Any PR anyone ever opens, it would just assign me immediately and give me notifications on it. And I'm like, if you actually need me, like at me, and I'll I'll see the issue that I need to jump on. But instead, I just get flooded with updates. Um, but which, because of because of forks. Uh, not not just forks, just PRs in general. I mean, I don't work on Claire anymore, so I was like, if you need if you need me, I don't want to see all the notifications. Oh. Um, but if you guys all um, sub to it, like I have no, I don't know, but it also would require us to change like what that file is called. Right. Cause we have a maintainers file already. Mm -hmm. so. It's not, it's not in that format though. Yeah. This is like your GitHub user. The cool thing is you can kind of subdivide the repo too. So we could have like different uh, uh, maintainers yeah. for the conformance and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it is nice. Um, but yeah, uh, bar checks to pass. Mm. I mean, we might not want to check that because uh, we have to get rid of the pool. We have to get rid of a bunch of shit. Yeah, have to kill Travis and stuff. By the way, I'm working on this kill Travis uh, while this is going on. All right, that should do it. And now you can probably go in the integrations and disable, just like pull approve or whatever other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Or not. Yeah, what? <laughs> How do you disable it? <laughs> hmm. I, what the hell's orbit? Hmm. Mm -hmm. You it. Virtual actor framework. Okay, this is a different thing. Uh, it on GitHub. Vince helped. Um, can you look at the Travis YAML for a moment? Uh, line, I'm, I'm good with all this. Line 16, 17. Is the Travis <laughs> commit range something that they give you? And yeah. Um, but 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 that's that's the that get validation tool. Um, which I have a personal interest in or something. Um, um, and I just recently did a thing to try and handle GitHub actions. So also was trying to work around Travis. What actually is Travis even running? Do what? What is Travis even running? Like make install.tools? I didn't even know we have a make file in this <laughs> repo. <I'm> like what? <laughs> I didn't even know this was here. What is this even yeah. doing? It's, oh, oh, this is, okay. So this is generating the- the. Yeah, we got a make file. 
it like generates a PDF or whatever. This is all your, your crazy doing. Well, it, it does a few things because it checks for like white spaces and subject conformance. So um, that, that is nice. Do we still have to have, have the Pandoc thing that generates like some other version? Because don't isn't there a pipeline that builds this and puts it on the website? There's a release, there's a release one. Um, this validates that the, I mean, this does that. And then it also, the, con, the conformance target will make sure that the conformance thing builds. Right, so this pipeline does not build the docs also. We could make it do that, but. Is that what you're asking, Jimmy, that a GitHub action to just build the PDF stuff? Yeah, I mean, if we still even need that because building the PDF, is that actually important if we publish it on the website? We already have a release well, pipeline. Well, what I'm, I think it prevents is like, if you put some crap in the markdown, yeah. that's bad. Oh, I see what you're saying. But like, I guess it, does the requirement for the PDF still exist if there is like an HTML version as well? That It's all part no. of it. Not, I mean, it does, it does the same thing. Panda generated the same HTML also, but if there's a pipeline that produces that and doesn't, if there's a pipeline or action, whatever, that produces the HTML and would fail the build if it's like some bug formatting, then that would be pretty decent. I'd get rid of the Pandoc also, but yeah, I mean, so far all, all the specs are using the same Pandoc image or should be. So this is one of those like image spec, runtime spec. Yeah, can we trick spec. another spec to do this work and then <laughs> it over to ours? <laughs> we like now that we've acknowledged it as a thing, can we like open an issue on the image spec and be like, how come you guys aren't using GitHub Actions and then have them have them fish it out? Because <laughs> I'm on both of those specs, that just means I'm <laughs> no, Jimmy. This is mm. not your therapy session. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I am just the one that maintains CI for so many things. I'm like, if I could not do that in my free time too, <laughs> that'd be nice. <laughs> Poked Derek. Let's see if Derek actually rebases this. Did he do this before 1.0? Yeah. Yeah, he did. It, because so that's gonna be basically it stalled. Memory. Yeah, it, it stalled because we were like, this is gonna happen after. Yeah. Okay. What are, what are we waiting on now? The list to hack on things. Um, there's a couple other things in here too, right? What? Do we look at did I miss us looking at 228? There's literally a section of the spec that's like to do. <laughs> and then it's like, uh, do we want that? Sorry, I'm I'm like not paying attention. Um I'm I'm just gonna give this the rubber stamp. That was removed. Oh no. This must be rebased, I think. Well, can we just delete it's it then? Can we close it? That to-do still does, it doesn't exist anymore, right? Spec. Well, well go to resolve conflicts because I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, just close it. Is it mine? No, no, no. Hold on. It's, I'm, it's, I'm just, it's mine. I can close it too. We can all close it. Race. Please see. Okay, so the only, I don't know well, there's some to do in the conformance section, but the only other to do is in content negotiation. Um, All right. Oh, that whole content negotiation talk was my PR. Should we merge your content negotiation no, one? I don't know. I'm going to sit for a second. Because I, I like left 
even the, the word to do in there because basically I was, I mean, we already talked about it. I was just Carter culting stuff that was already discussed before and we had consent, uh, con, uh, consent um, consensus around it, but it still was like, I want somebody else to like. Cool. Um... Yeah, Input uh, device is not a TTY. <laughs> hmm. Cool. You trying to run this on not a shell? No, that <laughs> EDAP's magic Docker thing. Oh, yeah. To get Docker to work in GitHub Actions, you basically have to enable it. No, I think it's, I think it's. They changed that? Yeah. Let's see, yeah, input device night. Yeah, this is this is Pandoc hating hating life. It's pretty dangerous that you could just modify the add GitHub actions and they just run. I think I think there's a new flag to like first time contributors or something. Yeah, I mean that I mean that's always the case with Travis too. You could be like, I'm opening up a PR, by the way, my PR changes all the code to just cat the secrets. <laughs> yeah. Well, that didn't what was that? Uh, the coverage thing that just happened. There it is yeah, it's running again right now. It's just pouring down Pandoc. Mm. <sighs> So I looked it up in Orbit. Looks like it's a community thing. It must be like something the Linux Foundation installed in the GitHub work. Uh, it ran more, I think. Ran some more stuff. Oh, I I did a bad thing. I I go mod hates it. Oh, I think sorry, when I did the last release, I ran into this issue and didn't fix it on main. I just fixed it locally. That's the spirit. <laughs> Cannot determine the last source directory. Oh, it's because dot tool is not doesn't have a go mod. Told you. Yep. Um, I guess I can try this here real quick. Tools or dot tool doesn't have a go mod in it, Phil? Yeah, yeah that, that's the error that just happened in the last one. Well, if you look in the make file, I added some wacky, something wacky. It's still running pull approve. So if you look at like, make header HTML, it's doing go mod init and go run tool header. I think I added that go mod init because I was we, very confused. Yeah, we don't need go mod in it. Or ideally we shouldn't have to. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. How do I edit the whole or user settings? Hold on, I'm downloading a 280 megabytes pandemic image. Yeah. Repo settings. There we go. How do I tell it to fuck off? You're, oh, we have to get rid of the dot pull approve dot yaml. Delete repo from pull approve. That also works. Should I do it? Huh? I'm going to delete pull approve, like the spec. Repo on pull approve. Is that okay with everyone? Uh, yeah. Is that, are you talking about this internal error? No, like when you look at it, do you see how like on GitHub it says we <laughs> three pending reviewers are like like we're gonna use GitHub's review and not pull approve. Uh, if we are, I didn't know, I didn't know if that was a legal thing. Um, 
No, it's fun. Chris, Chris is Chris and Amy are usually pretty amenable to like this is useful or this is not useful. It's just I just need to make pretty much their big thing is just making sure that DCOs are signed. Hey, that, that DCOs are correct yeah. in the project. And at least there's some kind of approval framework in place. Okay. I'm it's not it's not does not thou shalt have full, full approve. Has been removed from full approve. Cool. Oops. They're like you uninstall it yourself. Great. I'm just I'm gonna delete the Travis webhook too while I'm in here. You guys want to do release branches? What was that? You broke up a little bit. Uh, you guys want to do release branches? We're only on main now. Um, I mean, typically you do that when you need to like diverge main from a release branch. I think so far being linear has been fine. Um, Fair. Yeah, if that becomes a problem, I think we can talk about it then. Include administrators, save, cool. All right, it's working from a console. I was just looking at old stuff. This this is silly about the um, catalog. Uh, conversations like. How? Uh... The real it question ended is, up how, does it it ended up how does it know who who is allowed to give the green check mark? That's the real question. Because um, it might now just be anyone with admin access on the repo. Good. All right, my vote is we should try code owners, even though I complained about it earlier. Oh. I really don't know what's going on with this GitHub thing, the action set. What's wrong, Josh? Like, um, if you here, I'll, I'll share it in our chat here. If you look at so now with Travis removed or what? I removed Travis. Did you, did you just do this right now? All right, I deleted their webhook. 
I think we're all doing different stuff right now. Yep. <laughs> yep, <laughs> um, absolutely. Well, but that's good. I mean, yeah, we can break it early. Sometimes it needs to be broken. Uh, Vince, you think that'll fix what I'm doing here? Uh, I don't know, but it, 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 it's, it, it's definitely related. This is what I was saying when I, when I was looking at and pushing it into the um, subdirectory is that, it, you know, that some of these other directories that didn't have it um, would meet it. And so now with this. Okay, let's, uh, Jenny or Mike, if you, can we try and getting that in so I can see if. Um... I think he's moving it to 116, like not 115, Vince. On go. Yeah, I did. I did see that. I wasn't going to mention. Do what? Uh, your two eighty five is using go one fifteen. I think we're consolidating to one sixteen. Was it seven? Why? 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 I don't know. No. I was just checking the other PR against yours. No bueno. <laughs> 115 slot. <laughs> uh, well, the, the only I'll reason, ask Josh well, to okay. change his. <laughs> the, the only reason, I mean, like, if there's no reason to make it for, enforce in a place like this, a newer version, like if you're not actually using code that requires newer version, yeah, then, then, you then use, well. the, use, use the oldest one that, that's possible for the format of the file. Yeah, in fact, that's legitimately how. Um, when you create a new repo and like you let go automatically figure out your dependencies, it finds the minimum viable version basically. So it's always looking for the oldest thing, which yeah. is actually, actually really annoying <laughs> sometimes. Um, so I just opened a pull request, uh, basically dropping pull approve, creating a code owners and uh, fixing my email. So that one should should make it. So then we don't need pull approve anymore. I mean, you should you should buy Zalin dot ski. <laughs> is that ski a thing? The problem is I have I did it for a, mine. I did it for, for I me. have this weird e at the end because they fucked up spelling the name at Ellis Island. Right, uh, I know, but it's better for. <laughs> Being anonymous, I have mine ski with a Y, and I. You chose it. I, 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 wait, so you're like I. He's intentionally you're telling me to choose the wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, eventually, future generations all have eventual consistency. No. Um, no, but mine's not even supposed to end in a Y. It's supposed to be. Um, Z I E L, and they said like no no um, an E after an I before the E, and then they did at the end. That's I think that's the story. They put the I before the wrong E. They put it at the the last E and not the first E. Hey Op, your your. Subject is way beyond what you do in the commits, pal. <laughs> hey, that's fine. It's part of it. Yeah, it's supposed really, to review really the cool code be bats. It's supposed really to cool just approve. If, <laughs> if we could just uh, make this a, a, a quick thing like that. So we only maintain it once, but then people would want to find it. Did you make it? Because this is like a group that's maintained by, by Chris and Amy. I wonder if the app, whatever code owners could expand. Could just ping this you use your Microsoft right. powers to. I mean, I, yeah, I don't think we change maintainers enough that it's going to be a big deal. 
I'm going to force push after you approve the bets and it's going to drop you from the code owners silently kicking you out. <laughs> All right, it's uh, my mine's still broken. I need to go. Did you rebase on mine? I just did, yeah. I don't understand it. Is it broken in your uh, in your private fork or is it broken on the uh, uh, well, yes, it's broken in my fork. Um, by Brandon. Um, yes, it's broken on my fork, but that's the change. Uh, I'm I'm running those exact commands locally, and I don't have the problem. Do you think it's a go? I have go one sixteen something. Four, so, uh, since we removed, you see my comment on the push and pull. Since we removed Travis, we need to um, um, so Mike. I, the reason uh, didn't mean to cut you off. Thanks. The Mike. The I, reason uh, I don't know if we care or not. You can have a badge that's tied to a specific um, action. And if you don't keep them separate, then if like a PR fails, the badge will turn red. If we don't care about a badge, then um, we can have just one file. I'll just comment that for. Um, I need to run everybody. Uh, if you send me a message for like, hey, put a check on this, I will put a check on it. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Um, which I think, which check it was. Vanessa already added all this. Oh, he's got a rebase. Got it. I actually just clicked back into Zoom. I had no idea that you were sharing your screen the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like the approval stuff works. So that's a nice dependency to have dropped. So now, oh, you did turn this on. Yep. So does that mean it's going to assign it to us every time? Yeah, I think so. Mm. But, oh. but if you don't do that, this is why I even just made that PR. I'm pretty sure it's just like anyone with admin on the repo. Um, can approve them. So that means mm -hmm. if you get some like drive by um, like runtime spec or image, image spec maintainer approving something. Um, yeah, well, I've, I've kind of wished we had some of that stuff because even with, you know, if there were subdirectories that actually somebody else owns that part of it, you know. Yeah, I mean, we can do that with the code on our stuff, but. Um, 
I guess my point before is like someone on the TOC or someone with multiple repository access can could accidentally approve a thing. I've definitely seen like random people just like submit their approval, like to be like, oh, cool, it looks good to me. Even though I'm not a maintainer, I was giving my feedback on this thing, thus I'll stamp it when I think it's good, which I don't want to discourage. I think that's actually useful if you're working with someone that isn't a maintainer. But I also don't want that to like uh, trigger the criteria for the approval process for the PR. If it's too chatty, we can figure out something else, but for now. Ms. Was Derek going to come on and um, make what? some make some uh, some comments about possible new maintainers? Huh? Was Derek going to sign in? I can't. Oh no no no. Okay. No, we're over the hour mark, so Travis is failing. Purging all the tabs. Cool. Is there anything left that we're going to work on now? Um, no, I don't think so. All right. I think I'm going to drop them. Yep. This is super useful. Yeah, uh, I think these kind of, I mean, these things sound boring of like, let's get on grooming, but it's not like sprint grooming. It's just occasionally shaking, shaking some stuff off. Yeah, I mean, I kind of wanted to do this because I haven't been able to go to a bunch of the meetings recently. So seeing the state of the repo, uh, or like going through it, it's probably mm -hmm. useful. I probably need to read through the, the notes from the meetings too, though. Um, but yep. Good. All right, guys. Thank you, everybody. Bye, y'all.